Hey everyone, Combo here back with another Empires and Puzzles video and today we've got the December 2024 tentative calendar. We're going to take a look at each of the events throughout the month of December and take a look at the featured heroes for each of those portals. Take a look at which portals you should be pulling from and which ones you should not be pulling from. Real quick though, if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see my future videos. All right, so taking a look at this first week of December, some exciting things in here. First, we do have the War of Three Kingdoms going on. So we've got three featured heroes, costume Sun Quan, costume Cao Cao, and costume Dai Chan. Sun Quan is, of course, a new costume in the game. And I know a lot of people are probably excited that Dai Chan is featured in this portal again because a lot of people want her that don't already have her because she is really, really good. War of Three Kingdoms is always a good portal to pull from. With those costume bonuses, those are some of the strongest heroes in the game right now. Sun Quan himself, unfortunately, even with the costume, is probably one of the lesser desired heroes out of the War of Three Kingdoms family. But there are definitely a lot of good heroes in that, including Dai Chan, Zhu Zhlang, Cao Cao. Definitely some good heroes in that portal. And if you are looking for one to pull in, that would definitely be a good option. So that is actually already in the game, effective Saturday, November 30th. On Sunday, December 1st, we will have Santa's Challenge back in the game. We've got two brand new heroes and a new costume. So the new heroes are going to be Albin and Otilia. The new costume is going to be Mr. Pengi. Tomorrow, I will be doing hero reviews for all three of those heroes. And I'm going to spend all of my epic hero tokens on that portal to see if we can get lucky, pull one of the new heroes. But more specifically, I would love to have costume Mr. Pengi. He has obviously phased out of the game because his stats are much lower than the new heroes that are coming out. But with that costume bonus, that is going to make him up prevalent back in the game. Definitely would like to get him on my team. Starting on December 1st, we also have the Valhalla Forever event coming back out. So we've got costume Lord Loki, costume Freya, and costume Sif as the featured heroes in that portal, which is a pretty good mix of heroes, especially with Lord Loki. He is one of the best heroes in the Valhalla event, and actually I rated him number two on my Outfitter event top 10 list that I just came out with yesterday. If you guys haven't checked out that Outfitter event, video that I just put out yesterday. Definitely check it out. I'll pin a link to that video in the comments below. And we've also got the costume chamber going on. That also started on Saturday, November 30th. We've got costume Liana and costume June. Unfortunately, no new five stars in that portal, but we may see new five star season one costumes at the end of the month or possibly next month. There are has been some information on the new glass costumes. This is going to be a fourth costume or a fifth version of the season one heroes. Definitely curious to see what the costume bonus is going to look like with that extra costume because the tunes are already pretty overpowered. So we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. On Tuesday, December 3rd, we have the first Untold Tales 2 event. So this is going to be a brand new season. We've got three brand new heroes coming out right away. Regin, Ott, and Gander. I'm also going to do hero reviews on those three heroes on Tuesday. So definitely be on the lookout for that as well. And curious to see what that looks like. I'm assuming we're probably only going to get like one chapter of the Untold Tales 2 to start. I know a lot of people were excited to possibly get like a new uh, Damascus Blade or a new Toma Tactics when the Untold Tales 2 came out. But honestly, I'd be pretty surprised if every chapter came out all at once. They're probably going to phase it out one chapter each month as the event comes out. But again, we'll have to wait and see on that. On Thursday, uh, December 5th, we've got the Ninja Tower back. We've got one new hero, Ito, and two Repeat heroes, Iga and Tora. Iga is considered to be one of the best ninjas in the game. So definitely excited to see him featured again. And Ito is going to, like I said, be a brand new ninja in the game. We have an Ascension Summon that also starts on Thursday, December 5th. The rare quest on Wednesday, December 4th is going to be for red. So you can get some rings in that uh, free challenge. Friday's Master Class event is going to be for monk. So you can get some Master Class emblems for monk on Friday, December 6th. And on December 7th, we've got the Wilderness Summon back. We'll take a look at the featured heroes when we take a look at the week after. And then closing out the week, we've got the Paladin and Monk class quest on Sunday, December 8th. 
Before we move on to the second week, I do want to give a quick shout out to L.E.O.T. and uh, Burks G for putting this information together and allowing me to use this information in their video. They put a lot of time and effort into coming up with this information for you all. I know everyone in the community is very appreciative for the work that they do. So before we look at the following week, which portals this week should you be looking at spending gems on? So War of Three Kingdoms is a good one, obviously. And if you are looking to get one of the costumes for, say, Diachan or Cow Cow, then I would consider spending gems on that. But maybe hold off until we get a better new costume because Sun Quan is definitely not that new costume that you want. So I'd probably hold off on that. Untold Tales 2 is probably the one that I am going to be spending gems on. I'm definitely curious to see what the final versions of those heroes look like. We've got three brand new heroes. Very excited to see what those heroes look like. So I'll decide when they actually come out if I'm going to be spending any gems on that. And then of course the Ninja Portal is not a bad one either to spend gems on. I would definitely not spend it on Valhalla forever. I would not spend gems on Santa's Challenge. You're going to get enough free pulls from the Epic Hero tokens that you get throughout the course of the month anyway. And then the Costume Chamber, your keys, I would hold on to those until we get the glass costumes. I would not spend any keys, any gems on the Costume Chamber this month. We have no new heroes that are in that portal. Definitely save your keys, save your gems for another time when we get those glass costumes in the game. And I'll include the Wilderness Summon Portal if you should pull or not in the following week when we take a look at the featured heroes. And speaking of the following week, moving on to that week, we've got Gideon as a brand new hero of the Wilderness family. We've got Von Rothbart, who's not part of the Wilderness family, but is featured in this portal. And then we have Verity as the third featured hero. Wilderness Summon is an interesting one because they have a passive that resists insanity if you're able to pull one of the Wilderness Summon heroes. So definitely something to take into consideration considering we have a new war type coming up which is going to inflict 10 insanity on every single hero every 5 turns. We've also got a Mythic Titan scheduled in the game for Jormungandar. This will be a blue Mythic Titan that is scheduled for Monday the 9th through the end of Tuesday the 10th. Goblin Village is back with Monday the 9th through Wednesday the 11th with Fergus as a brand new featured hero. And Kolya will be coming back as well. That was a new hero that just came out last month. You can see there's a little image in here for the Astral Elves event, which is still in the orb data, but likely to be deleted because of the Goblin event coming back. So I think Astral Elves is going to be coming back in a different week throughout the course of the month. So I would not expect that to be in the game for the 9th or the 11th. On Tuesday the 10th, we've got the Judgment of Dunes coming back. Right now, it's showing three featured heroes that would be repeat heroes, Tedesheri, Horus, and Anubis. But there should be a new Season 5 costume that comes into the game. So I would definitely expect at least one of those featured heroes to be coming out. And for a new featured hero to be coming into the game. Hopefully it's Esset. I really would like to get costume Esset. She was a monster for a very long time, especially in rush tournaments. And if she can get a costume bonus and get her stats beefed up, then she's going to be really, really good. On Thursday the 12th, we have the Visiting Outfitter event coming into the game for the first time. This is going to be a very exciting event. I mentioned earlier, I did a video yesterday. Again, I will pin a comment with a link to that video. It is a top 10 eligible costumes for the Visiting Outfitter event for December 2024. Definitely check out that video if you have not already. This is going to give you an opportunity to get a costume that you do not already have for a hero that you already have. So you're going to get basically a free upgrade for a hero that you have, but that costume has to have been out for at least 18 months. The gem requirement for that right now, the information I believe is at 300 gems for a five-star costume, 200 gems for an epic costume, and 100 gems for a rare costume. That is definitely subject to change since the event has not come out yet, so just be aware of that. We've also got the Challenge Festival coming back on Thursday, December 12th. We don't know yet who the featured heroes for that event, but I would definitely expect at least one, maybe two new heroes and maybe one or two new costumes. When this event came out last month, we had two new bards that came into the game and three new costumes for Slayers. And I forget what the other family was, but there was one other family that got a costume also. 
villains. That's what it was. Dark Lord got a costume. So there were two Slayer costumes and then the one villain costume with Dark Lord and two brand new bards. So we basically got five new heroes in the game. So we'll have to wait and see what it looks like for Thursday the 12th. Going back to Wednesday the 11th, we do have the Purple Omega Limit Breaker quest coming out on Wednesday the 11th. So that is something that everybody looks forward to, obviously, because you get free Limit Break materials. So that's when that's coming out. We've got the Fighter and Barbarian class quest for that day as well. On Saturday the 14th, we have the Sunken Riches event coming back. So that's basically just the Untold Tales 1 event with the decreased flag requirements for those stages. And closing out the week on Sunday the 15th, we've got the Cleric and Druid class quest. As far as portals that you should be spending gems on, the Challenge Festival definitely is one that I would consider. The Goblin Village, obviously the Goblins are really good, but they have like a 0.5% pull rate. I know you get two, but the chances of getting a Goblin are just very, very low. The Challenge Festival heroes should be really, really good. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see, but I'm thinking that would probably be the portal to pull from. Judgment of Dunes is not a bad one, depending on who the other new featured costume is going to be. And the Wilderness Summon with Von Rothbard as being one of the most coveted heroes in the game right now. Definitely one to consider as well, especially with the Wilderness family members having that resist insanity. If you were to only pull from one of the events this week, it's hard to say because we don't know who the featured heroes are, but I'm going to say the Challenge Festival probably, especially if we get another bard or two into the game. And if we get costumes for some of those bards, that would be even better. All right, moving on to the following week. So the Sunken Riches Untold Tales event obviously just started a couple days in the prior week, but we've got currently Costume Medea, Costume Galapago, and Costume Atlantia as the three featured heroes. I would definitely expect a brand new costume for Untold Tales 1 to be coming back into the game. So these featured heroes are definitely going to change. I don't know who the featured hero with the new costume is going to be yet. But that is definitely always a portal to consider pulling from because all of those costumes have resistance sanity and they're pretty overpowered already to begin with. Curious to see who the new costume will be. I've got Spark Toy Max, so I would definitely love to see a costume Spark Toy. We'll have to wait and see what that looks like. On Monday the 16th, we do have the Ice Variant Treasure Quest. So these are new, like, epic or legendary i forgot what they actually call them treasure quests that are in the game we had one a couple weeks ago for the legendary troop coin so these quests are definitely much harder but the rewards are much better i don't know what the rewards are going to be it says ice variant so i'm not sure if that's going to be like a combination of ascension materials like a warm cape and a scope or if that means limit breaker materials like the ice ethers so maybe like i said a combination of both we'll have to wait and see what that looks like i think that there's been some information from beta that has been released on that but i don't think they've actually released any definitive information if they have let us know in the comments below but i'm not 100 percent positive on that Either way, be on the lookout for that quest. You definitely want to make sure you try to get those done because the rewards either way are going to be really good. On Tuesday the 17th, we've got the Clash of Knights coming back with Cecilia, Armel, and Teddy currently as the featured heroes. There may be a new featured hero, so we're going to have to wait and see what that looks like. On Wednesday the 18th, we've got Shrikewood back. So that's going to give you a free tonic, a free sturdy shield, and we've also got the Wizard and Sorcerer class quest. On Thursday the 19th, we've got Tremors of the Underwild with the current featured heroes as Captain Nemo's costume, Luke Hyde's costume, and Iuda's costume. On Friday the 20th, we've got the Fighter Class Master Emblem quest. And to close out the week on Sunday the 22nd, we've got the Paladin and Ranger class quest. There's also an Astral Elves event that was added, I believe, into the game on Sunday the 22nd. But as far as portals that you could pull from in this week, honestly, the Untold Tales is probably the only one I would consider. Unless if the new featured hero of Clash of Knights is this really, really good overpowered hero. But I don't know yet what that's going to look like. I would say Untold Tales is a safe bet. Most of those heroes are really, really good. Taking a look at the following week, so again, the Astral Elves event started on Sunday the 22nd. We do not know who the featured heroes for that event are going to be yet. That is another portal that has like a 0.5% pull rate. You do get two of them again, just like the Goblin portal. 
We've got the Tavern of Legends event coming back into the game on Monday the 23rd. So that's going to give you the option to select two heroes. Plus it will have a designated feature hero who we do not know yet. They have not come out with a new Tavern of Legends hero in quite some time now. I think Mistra might have been the last one that came into the game. So hopefully we get a new hero or a new costume at the end of the month when that portal comes out. On Wednesday the 25th, there is currently a costume chamber coming into the game that may or may not change. And we've got the rumors of the glass costumes coming into the game. So we're going to have to wait and see if those come out when that portal comes out. And again, that portal may get pushed back. That is on Christmas Day. So I don't know if that portal is going to be coming into the game. And if they introduce glass costumes, I would be kind of surprised if they came out on actual Christmas day because the tech support from Empires and Puzzles is probably going to be a little bit decreased considering it's a holiday. Again, that's going to have to be something that we wait and see for. Hopefully more information comes out as the month progresses. On Wednesday the 25th, we've got the class quest of Barbarian and Rogue along with the rare quest where you can get a free scope and warm cape. On Thursday the 26th, we've got Atlantis coming back in the game with costume Tarlac and Nari. Suzuna and Bo and Runt as your featured heroes. On Friday the 27th, we've got the Cleric Master Class Emblem Quest in the game. And on Saturday the 28th, we've got Untold Tales Part 2 coming back. Obviously, it's going to be too early for us to know who the featured heroes for that event will be on the second time around. Definitely curious to see what that looks like, though. On Sunday the 29th, we've got Monk and Cleric Class Quest and a new Valhalla event will be coming back. As far as portals that you could pull from this week, we do not have a lot of options. I'm going to say Costume Chamber if we have that event and only if the glass costumes are introduced. If the glass costumes are not introduced, then I would definitely hold your keys for when they do come into the game. And taking a look at the following week, we do not have a lot of information here. We've got the Valhalla Forever event with costume Sam and Loki, costume Balder, and costume Thor that are currently featured and showing here, but that may change as well. Again, we do not know who the featured hero for Until Tales 2 are going to be. And then the Contest of Elements is currently scheduled to be coming back on January 1st with the Red Fire heroes. This should be featuring a new Red Slime hero, Charmion and Ignazio, currently as the featured heroes. We have the Fighter and Wizard class quest that day, and the rare event where you can get a free Fine Gloves and Tome of Tactics on January 1st. On Friday the 3rd, we have the Druid Master class quest, and on Sunday the 5th, we've got the Druid and Ranger class quest to close out this calendar. So a lot of exciting stuff coming this month. Obviously, there are a lot of question marks, but there are five portals, in my opinion, that you should consider pulling for. The first one is going to be the costume chamber. But again, that's only going to be if we get the glass costumes in the game. Again, if you have keys, do not spend them before the glass costumes come into the game. You are definitely going to regret not having those keys when the glass costumes come in. I would definitely hold on to those. The second portal I would consider pulling from is the Wilderness Summon. We've got Von Rothbard, a new Wilderness Summon hero, and those Wilderness heroes have a passive that resists insanity. That is going to be super helpful against the heroes that give insanity, but also when we get into that insanity war. The third portal I would consider pulling from is the Untold Tales 1 event. Again, we don't know who the featured costume is going to be, but whoever it is, they are going to be really good, and all of those other costumes in that portal they give you that resist insanity passive. That's going to be super helpful when you get to those insanity wars and against the insanity heroes. The fourth portal I would consider pulling from is the Untold Tales 2 portal. We've got three brand new heroes in the game. I'm hoping there's going to be a three star and a four star as well. We're going to have to wait and see what that looks like but definitely a portal to consider pulling from. And then the fifth one, I'm going to put this as a maybe because we do not know who any of the featured heroes are, the challenge event. I'm hoping we get another bard or two, but we're probably going to get some other costumes, possibly from the villain family, possibly from the Slayers family. And then they could also come out with like the carnival costumes. Those would be some great heroes to get costumes as well. So we're going to have to wait and see what that looks like. But those would be five portals that I would consider pulling from. Let me know what you guys are excited about for the month of December. But that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button. Make sure you're subbed to my channel and I'll catch you guys next time.